Alan Tumlin for the Sabermetrics Network, and I'm here to talk about basketball stats. The last couple of weeks, we've been talking about the four factors in tempo-free basketball, and now I want to actually apply them to something. And one thing that's going on right now is Olympic uh, training, and Team USA just played Brazil, and unfortunately, it's Monday night, and that box score isn't yet available. But the box score for the 113 to 59 victory over the Dominican Republic is available. So we're going to talk about the anatomy of a blowout with the four factors. So where did Team USA really dominate this 88 possession game? Well, uh, the big place is effective field goal percentage. So the USA had a 65.5 effective field goal percentage after making 13 threes and 42 twos on 74 shots. Um, this is a big difference, obviously, from the Dominican Republic, which shot 38.1% effective field goal percentage. Uh, you probably didn't need to know effective field goal percentage to see that they shot really differently. Uh, the U.S. dominated the game and had a lot more athleticism, and so interior, in the interior, they really dominated. Uh, from making threes, the USA did make five more, but in the grand scheme of things, that doesn't matter too much. Um, also, turnover percentage was a big thing for the U.S., so the U.S. actually did double the Dominican Republic's turnover percentage, and that's what happens when you have as many steals as you have turnovers, which was the case for Team USA against the Dominican Republic. Uh, and in offensive rebounding percentage, Team USA did okay. They were up 30.3% to 22% for the Dominican Republic. And then for the fourth factor, it was actually really close. Uh, free throw rate, uh, if you take a look at that, you'll see that uh, for free throw rate, the U.S. was only up by a half percent, and... The free throws were 25 to 21, so even though the Dominican Republic got blown out, obviously they were still getting those opportunities, and because they weren't getting as many shots, their free throws were a little compressed, and you can use free throw rate to see that they were actually really similar. So there's a little bit of looking at a blowout and kind of getting a feel for things, and hopefully as we move towards the Olympics and get more games, we can look more in depth into player statistics and look more at some of the guys who really performed well in this game. So uh, a couple other quick notes. Um, guys who shot really well. Kevin Durant was 9 for 11 and 5 of 6 from 3-point range. So obviously his effective field goal percentage was off the charts. Uh, same deal with Andre Iguodala, who was 7 for 9 and then uh, 4 of 6 from 3. So both of them took a lot of threes and made a lot of shots and that's really good. And also with Durant, uh, he's one of the reasons why the USA had such a good uh, defensive rebounding percentage in this game as 78% because he had nine defensive rebounds, which led the team by a large margin. Uh, Russell, uh, Russell Westbrook had three offensive rebounds, which you don't really think of for a guard, so that's part of the offensive rebounding advantage there for the United States. And in terms of foul trouble, uh, nobody really stood out in this game. Kobe had three and Tyson Chandler had three, but again, not a big deal. So I think as we move forward, we'll be taking a deeper dive into these box scores and hopefully really take a look at Olympic basketball and kind of point out the highlights of what's going on using tempo-free metrics. And I hope you check back next week. Thanks.